Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and we're about to break into a new box, so I'm excited. There's all my stuff, my testing supplies, Miss Percy, and my cutter. So let's get started. I'm excited. So this is a 21 pound box. I'm really glad that the poundage is different each time because I don't know what I'd call the videos if it was like another 38 pounder or something. I guess I would get creative and figure something out, right? So it's 21 pounds, shopgoodwill.com. And let's see what first impressions. little note. I pay for this one. I paid up for this one, but not as much as I usually do. This was 226 after shipping 255 But some of the bigger boxes I pay are like 400 450 and I always get my money back. I always make something from them, and I make fun videos, so I'm excited. All right, so... Glad they put it in two bags, but I'm not glad that there's all this room in between. There was some bubble wrap, but hoping there's not much damage. Ooh, I think I see vintage jewelry. <gasps> I want vintage jewelry. I really, really do. I hope it's vintage. Okay, I am going to pull these out, and then I'll give you another picture of what they look like, and we'll set up. Yay! Okay, so this is one of the bags. Oh, like I said, it looks like vintage jewelry is in there, and I'm so happy. I really need some. I really love it anyway. So that's interesting. I see a name there. Oh, it's so heavy. I think this is mainly like a metallic bag. And then, oh, look at that pretty pink there. And another... Oh my gosh, I always forget what those are called. Cameo, I did it, Cameo. Not that I don't know what they are, but sometimes I can't recall certain words I'm looking for. And here's the other bag. Looks more like gemstones, pearls, things like that. Which one should we go for first? I usually open the one that has more of the bigger pieces in it first. Um, Gee, I don't know. Since we just did one that was all necklaces, maybe I'll do the metallic. Well, I'll set my phone up. I'll make my decision, and you'll know when I get back. Hey, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I appreciate every single person that gives me a try. I'd like to invite you to subscribe. Click the bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. We're opening a new box of jewelry today, so I'm sure there'll be more than one episode. So thanks so much. Okay, so I guess, I, I mean, I bet you guessed I was going to go for this bag. Even though I usually do the metallic bags later, you probably guessed how excited I am about the vintage pieces that I see in here. But I see some vintage pieces in the other bag, too, so really happy about that. I do know that when you go on shopgoodwill.com, and you search for vintage pieces, the prices really go up. I think they really know what they're doing over there. Well, over there, they're, they're all in different locations, so some places know more than others. So while I'm opening the bag, why don't I talk about what I do when I shop at shopgoodwill.com, because I do get lots of questions. And some of you have already heard, but what I do first is I put in the word jewelry at shopgoodwill.com, and I just go from there. I see what comes up. I see if something has good pictures or not. And then I just keep looking at the pictures. I zoom into every picture I can. I take notes on all the pictures. I take notes if I think I see coral, if I think I see vintage pieces, if I, you know, whatever I think I see in there. And I take note on how many pounds it is but I just keep looking at those photos. That is the biggest, probably, biggest factor is looking at the photos. If I like something, I click the little heart icon, which makes it one of your favorites. 
I'm going to have to get rid of this tape. It's going to be noisy. Um, you click the heart icon and it saves it in your favorites so that I can go back again, look at it fresh, look at it another day. If there's something I'm very excited about, I'll go into my phone and schedule my phone to remind me of when the auction is going off. So that's what I do. I look and look and look and take my time, really, really try to figure out if there's enough things in that box to justify me making a return on it, making a good video, whichever it would be. So that's how I do it. And then I don't bid till like the last minute. Um, it's taken a long time. I've lost bids at the last second. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh, I can't speak. So a bunch of exciting things. I know I stopped in the middle of my sentence, but I'm on my newer, newer iPhone. The last one I got last week was faulty. The camera did not work right. So I have to return it. I ordered another one and it is still a little bit jumpy. Let me try to zoom in. See how it jumps right there? So I'm not sure, but at least it's not as bad as the last one. And I think this one focuses better. So the last phone, I couldn't even take pictures for eBay because it wouldn't zoom in really, really close. So it was a bummer, but I buy used phones. I don't want to buy the brand new ones. They cost so much. Even the used ones do. But we have a spinning rhinestone brooch that is so pretty. It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't see anything missing. It's dirty, but it's very sparkly. So I can imagine what it's going to look like when it's cleaned. <gasps> oh, so you wear it this way. It's almost like a C for Sherry. Woo! That is a great piece. I'm so happy to already find that. Now, here is another brooch. Brooch necklace. Wow, that's pretty. It doesn't look vintage, but it's pretty. Yep, it is a brooch um, that maybe someone just clipped to a necklace. But it has a C clasp, which is supposed to mean that they're older. Don't know. Doesn't look older. You never know. You really never know. I've been reading about the Juliana pieces, and honestly, before I knew anything about them, I would have thought they were just not a big deal. So it, it's on this. Looks like um, glasses sort of chain, but I'm going to take it off of there. Uh, yeah, and just... I'll check this out later because that's a bit confusing. Looks older. I mean, looks newer, but it's got the C-class. Now, this looks like maybe something's missing in the middle. So we'll have to see what's in the bag. Wow, look at how many brooches I'm getting. Okay, not such a great condition, but... Ooh, look at this one. You gotta love red and rhinestones, and a camera that focuses. Let's see what happens when I bring it up close and I go away. So if I do nothing, it stays like that. Why? If I tap on my phone, then it focuses. All right. If I bring it closer, it won't focus unless I come up here, tap on my phone. It's still better anyway. Okay, red brooch, gold tone. Oh, it's an earring. I thought it was a brooch the whole time. You cunning baby, you tricked me. A clip-on. Oh, it's so cute. So it's got the open back so that the stone can bring more light through and look better. So it's not a foil back, it's an open back. It is, what is that? It's all prong set. Definitely prong set. Oh, it's cute. Okay, where's my wait for your mate board? I'll have to get it. But we didn't have any earrings in the last bag and I forgot all about my wait for your mate. Ooh, we already have a sterling ring. Yes, that's the kind of bag I like to open. Looks like it's an L. Sterling silver script 
L. I wonder if my lights are competing or what. That's a gorgeous ring. It's really thick. Let me see what it says. It says Mexico 925. That's wonderful. Okay, time to fiddle with the lights and all of that. Seems I always start a video around five o'clock. I try to get it started earlier, but so this measures seven and three quarters, I would say, because when it's a thicker band, you want to measure at the top part. So maybe some people consider that an eight, but I would say since it's a thicker band, you'd be careful. So eight fits me right here pretty well. And that goes on. Anyway, we have a really heavy, I have no doubt it's sterling, Mexico. If someone needs me to check it, I will. Um, I'm gonna go grab my my scale so we can know how much it weighs. Okay, got my scale. It's a hefty one, so I think it's great to see how much it weighs. And I will go ahead and test it, just so you know. 10 grams on the nose. Very, very nice ring. Okay. Thank you, Scaly Scale. I am continuing to have a total blast listening to all your suggestions about what we should name the neck. So funny. I almost don't want it to end because it's been a, just a great time. Such cute ideas. All right, let's give it a test just so you know, because I know some of you will say, just because it's marked, you gotta be careful. And you are right, we do have to be careful. There are people out there that I can't imagine why, but they want to mark something that's not actually silver, which is a mean thing to do, but that's on them. And it is certainly very blue. So I just used 18 karat gold acid testing to test the ring. And it might sound funny to someone who's new to jewelry that we use gold testing, but it's easier than using the silver testing because the blue color is just easy to see on the testing stone. So that's the ring, 10 grams, script L. Um, we already looked at the size, so I would say, I mean, I think 40 is very fair. That's a big, nice, beautiful ring. Okay, next is, oh, this is precious. A crab brooch. That's a nice, very nice looking faux pearl. Has a very nice pearlescence on it. Little red little eyes. I like that rhinestone. Let's see, is it marked anywhere? I don't see a mark, but I'll have to look later. That's so cute. Wow, look at my... Okay, I'm just going to... I just have to stop a minute and... Oh already oh my gosh please this is going to be a great box i'm so excited look at those beauties okay let's keep digging this looks like a monet brooch they make a bigger one that has the mama and the baby um, and i do see a signature on it which is a yahoo smaller brooch let me see what it says oh is it tricking me it's just got crimpies inside not a signature yeah it tricked me okay it's still very cute i love the pearl and the red eyes very similar to the the crab one isn't it okay i'm loving it what else do we have it's really packed, so I'm going to have to do something to loosen everything up. Because I don't want to break anything. What are you? This is a lot like that ring that I bought in a local thrift store, but it was all black. 
and it had the same pave, but it didn't have a stone on the top or anything. You know who we got to wake up, Miss Prissy. See what she thinks about this. I know, girl, I got the table leg in our way. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a ring. It's all enamel, like a turquoise color enamel. Rhinestones throughout. And has this cabochon blue piece at the top. I don't want to, you know, keep talking about the obvious. Someone did make a comment and said that I keep talking about the blooming details that are obvious. And I do appreciate those truthful comments. But it's different when you're making a video. You, you don't want to sit here and say nothing. So sometimes we just say things just to be able to have something to say. So thank you for that comment. I appreciate it. I do want to be more conscious of saying silly things that are obvious. But at the same time, it's not easy on this side of the camera. It's a lot of thought and a lot of work. So obviously these are glass around here, but this is acrylic. Don't know anything about this ring. Doesn't seem to be marked. Um, cool looking though. I guess we'll put it aside and see what's up. Another brooch. Ooh, this is a Damascene or a Damascene style. It is when there's scroll work and there's silver and gold both together and sometimes enamel. I think I see a name in there. Sometimes it'll say, where is most of this from? Oh, I can't think of it right now, but Spain. Yep, that's what it says, Spain. So we have a Damascene brooch of a seal. We have seals here right off of our coast on Cape Cod and they are very cool. Now, it's a longer pin. It's sticking out of the edge. That's supposed to mean it's older. Plus, it's bent a little bit right there. Very pretty. I feel like I should give a price on this one. Um, I, I don't know. Let's just break the ice and say 20 on this Damascene. And see how what you guys think of a really cute clip-on. It feels like leather around the edge. I love that fancy design on the back. Nothing signed. This will go wait for its mate with our other beautiful baby. I am kind of running around tonight because I'm trying to upload a video on my iPad to post it on YouTube while I'm recording one over here. So trying to get them both up tonight. The first one is just the end of the 25 pound box that we opened together. It's a short video, but I do want to finish it off. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Um, and then the start of this box. So this is very pretty. It does remind me of India jewelry with the little jingleese. It's a choker style. It's very nice lobster clasp and one of our subscribers or a viewer gave me a great suggestion she said I should put my measuring tape like tape it to my table which I did so this me necklace measures 10 inches and then 15 all the way to the end of the clasp so we have a 15 inch Choker necklace. Are those rhinestones in there? I believe they are. Yes. And it's silver tone. 15 inches, and I will say, sorry guys, um, let's do $5 on that. Pretty. Thank you, neck. I still haven't come up with the name yet for the neck just has to it has to really feel right oh my goodness gorgeous earring whatever you are I'm in love with you wow 
looks like Howlite. No, it looks like Magnesite. The other one that's not turquoise, but wow. Anyway, those are like jewel tones, silver tone, earring. Oh, it's a pierced and a clip. In the back, I don't recognize that type of metal, but wow. So silver tone back here, but gold tone in the front. It's beautiful. Whatever you are, I love you. You're going with the wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. And Bolty's jumping up here. Not sure if he's gonna photobomb. Not much room on my table. Okay, we have a really cool brooch. Let me get us in focus. That's a little tangled. Now, I just learned what all of these rivets are called, but it's another new terminology that's going to take me a little bit to remember. Um, lots of rivets. Absolutely stunning. Oh, flower shape. All these like flower spray branches coming out of it. I'm not seeing any missing. Oh, I do see one there. Okay. That's all right. You've made it through a long time. And we are proud of you. So you can miss a stone, but it's probably going to be in the bag, I would hope. They're prong set. Wow. I'm so excited to get brooches and vintage jewelry. And then all of a sudden, this big, shiny, very modern bracelet shows up. It is a Premier Designs. Nice condition. Silver tone, Premier Design, clamper, bracelet. Let's see what you are. Measures. Let's see, it doesn't go to the seven, so probably six and three quarters. I like the condition inside as well as out. And I'll say $4 on the clamper. Let's see what I've got on today. My real pearl ring, sterling silver that I got from the thrift a while back for five bucks. This was at that thrift haul video that I did that says thrift haul and it says score. And this is a pretty old ring. I've been meaning to talk about this because it has a pretty old marking in it. Now I know it's not to do with the box we're opening, but I keep meaning to mention it. It's really hard to look at a ring through a loop because it doesn't bend over the side, but if I can do it quickly, I'll tell you what I'm thinking about with this. Oh, it's a bow sterling. That's what it is. And it's like never been worn. The condition's really perfect. And this is not, definitely not something I'm selling. So hope I'm not making you upset, but that's something I found at the thrift, probably 50 cents really happy about that and as you know from my what two videos ago my art deco style marcasite ring that i found in that 25 pound box of jewelry that only cost me 42 dollars for the whole box so excited about that all right thank you for letting me digress a momento <laughs> let's see <clears throat> excuse me if i get something else out because it is all globbed <gasps> I got the other earring. I got the other earring and I can't wait to go research this. Tiger's eye. What am I doing, Miss Prissy? Where are you? I'm so excited. I'm like, wait a minute here. Okay, we have glass, which is fine with me because you are so beautiful. That does look like tiger's eye. That looks like stone and maybe that's onyx. We don't know, but... They are gorgeous. I'm so excited. Really love those. I'll have to look into them because I don't know what they are. And it looks like, even though I did upgrade the phone, I'm still having to tap it. But that's what I have to do. So Until maybe I get one of those YouTube cameras. Um, Canon something. I still don't know which one. Ooh. Is that a horse? It's a donkey. So we had donkeys when I was growing up. We had a really big donkey. 
um, a, t a true mule we had, and his name was Sylvester, and he was adorable. And he would hee-haw whenever we went somewhere. Like, if us kids would leave the house and we'd go down to the pond to go swimming, we would hear Sylvester neighing at us. He just, I don't know, he wanted to come with us or something. But that's cool. And then, oh, it's an earring. And then my dad had miniature donkeys, the kind with the cross on their back. Their names were Pedro and Poncho. And we just had to give them a new home just a couple of years ago because my dad was getting on and he has now since passed. But that's my donkey story and that's my donkey clip on. I don't see any barks, but it's awfully cute. And this is a beautiful nautical, sorry, heavy, um, navy blue earring that appears to be signed. I'm gonna guess Trafari just from looking quick, but it's a Monet. Totally fun. Very happy. So excited with this bag. Okay, another vintage piece. That's a Monet. White enamel, I would guess. That is cute. So it would go on this way at an angle. Adorable. Okay, there's something here that's like, can't get to it. I'm going to have to reach at the top of the bag. What are these? Ruby red slippers. It's a pin. That's different. It's kind of the painting is not that great. It's like, like on the lines, but I don't know if someone loves it and you do ballet, just be aware that the enamel is not, see what I mean? So I will say $2 on the pin. I need to make a pile of what I've given prices of and what I haven't. Very shiny pierced. This is a clip-on silver tone. Um, hey, are you going to clip? Oh, it's one of those that I don't think it like spring loads. <gasps> Look at the size of that door knocker. Wow. And it's brushed silver tone. And it's signed. Ooh, I am having a great time with this box. It's called ESSEX Copyright SX. That is a huge earring. Not too bad a condition either. It does have a little bit of scratching here and there, but who cares? It's beautiful. All right, I have to look at this cameo because it looks like I may have finally got a real shell cameo. Oh my gosh, I did. It's a real shell cameo. Um, yeah, do you think she's pretty? <laughs> I mean, that's mean to say, but when I watch people do videos, they always say, oh, that's a pretty cameo. I don't know. Maybe she's very Roman looking. Yeah, let's say she's very Roman looking. I'm excited that it's a real shell cameo. I have never got one. Um does have the sort of a C clasp. Yeah, it does. So this is an older pin. Wow, I've never seen a real shell. I'm sh I mean, it is a real shell, right? It feels shell, it looks shell. Any of the other cameos that I got never look like this, so that's really fun. Let's see about the metal. Doesn't magnet, so I'll have to see what happens with testing it. Could be like an older, maybe a nine karat gold, but it doesn't look very gold. We'll see, we'll see. I'll look into those things. I'm just so excited about the bag that I just wanna keep taking some things out. Stretch ring, I'm gonna list these on eBay. The last batch that I had, you guys really weren't that interested, but um, they do sell on eBay, so there is a market for them. I think I'm seeing a mark on the back of this earring that I kind of put aside. 
Bolty, you can't come up here. Be a good boy, Bolty. All right, do you guys see it? Because you can see things before I can. Says Monet, wonderful. Love it when they're signed. Monet stuff is so good. Okay. You're going to go wait for your mate. And come on, I want to get doing this faster, but it's really all tangled. We have a Forever Friends bracelet. It is marked inside. Oh boy. Um, uh, let's see. And I don't know. Montra Montraband. Montraband? I would think it would say contraband, but don't know anything about that. Let me know if you do. This is a very sparkly, oh my goodness. Very sparkly baby. Wow. So this is coming through like a lariat, but it's fixed in there. It's like doesn't slide through. Let's see if this is going to come unkinked. Come on, baby. I know you had a long ride. Well, I'll fiddle with it later. Let's see what we've got. I was going to say Byzantine chain, but it's not. It's just got some kinks in it. And it's lobster clasp. Heavy duty chain. Wow, that's really pretty. Stunning. I don't know what to make of it. I know it's not terribly old because it has a lobster clasp. But wow, it's a big piece. Maybe I'll have to do Google search. All pave crystals in there. Really great shape. Hmm. Very interesting things. All right. Um, oh, this one says Anne. A-N-N-E. So it's already got its signature on it. And looks like a W L something inside. It's a Spidel. Spidel USA. So wow. And and then there's initials D L M. I don't know much about monogramming, like would that be the person that gave it to her? Um is this made of brass, I would assume. If your name is Anne and you like it, Anne with an E, measures about six and three quarters, and we'll say five dollars on this. It is a Spidel, which is a great company. And yeah, let me know if you like that. I don't think I even gave any instructions on how to purchase, so let me do that quickly. You would email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and give me the video name and episode number, the time stamps of when the pieces that you like show up on the video. You can get that by pressing the pause button and you'll see them there. And a brief description of what you liked and the prices that I gave. I don't need screenshots. If you want to send one for your own info, that's okay, but... Um, the, this four pieces of info really, really helps me find your stuff. So thanks so much for that. Okay, back to the goodies. I have to do something because it's all packed in here. All right, I think I see like a seashell Monet. I don't think the last one was seashell. I'll figure out a way to loosen it up. Ooh, another brooch. Wow. What in the what? That's a ring. That whole big giant thing is a ring. I don't know what to say. It's missing there and there or no? It's not missing. It's just brighter. <gasps> what? It's huge. I mean, I know that's obvious. See, now I'm all self-conscious about saying the obvious because I was annoying that person by saying what's obvious. That is so heavy. Quite beautiful. Are you signed anywhere? Oh, 
it's going to be tough to see in there with the loop. Because loops don't bend around the corners. Okay. Wow. All I can say is wow. Super heavy. I'll have to Google search or something. Let's see if it magnets at all. I mean, that would be a lot of sterling, but not a single thing on the magnet. Wow. This is so exciting. Okay, this brooch has like a smoky color to its stones. Wow. I'm getting all these brooches. What a blessing. It's just what I need. Beautiful flower. Drawing set again. So pretty. Wow. Okay. Maybe I should flip the bag over. Here's our other donkey earring. Oh, they're so cute. They don't look sterling. They're probably magnetic. Every time I go to get my magnet, it's stuck on something over here. Come on, you hitchhiker. They are a little bit magnetic. So you've got clip-on donkey earrings, we'll say. $5 on those. So sweet. If I were going to a family outing or something, I would have worn those, but we don't have our donkeys anymore. I hope you do, and I hope you enjoy them, and I hope those earrings are because you have a donkey, and it's a very big blessing for you. Okay, I see something that I saw when I was looking at the pictures, and this is it. I was hoping it was real, hoping it's... Um, an aquamarine. It looks like a clip-on pendant. Clips like that. Um, let's get Miss Pris and see what she says. So many things are blue topaz, and hey, I'm not complaining if it's blue topaz, but not many things are aquamarine, so I was hoping this one might be. I know, I'm going easy, girl. Okay. What we got? It's glass. Still beautiful. And it was something I had hoped in. So it's fun to have hope in something and be excited. Now that's a cubic zirconia up there, or it's close to the metal, one or the other. Well, nonetheless, it's a very beautiful blue clip-on pendant. Let's wait and see if we can find a chain that can go with that. Now, it looks like I'm finding some um, Middle Eastern jewelry, like wedding jewelry, but it's a little bit different. It's very pretty. Wow. Super shiny. So sometimes, when I had all that jewelry the last time, on one of my other videos that was from this part of the country. People said check it because sometimes it's like 24 karat gold. Certainly looks 24 plated. I'll look into it and see. And my neighbor is from Morocco and she's moving away so she'll probably love that piece. Okay, butterfly. I thought it was a brooch, but it's a, a necklace. Enamel, gold tone. Ooh, pretty chain. It's got, it's on that like snail chain. Nice, let's see what kind of clasp we have. Yay, an older spring ring. So it's kind of vintage. Nothing written on the clasp. Sometimes these are 120th, 12 karat, 14 karat. Anything on the back? Yes, there is. The little name right there. It says art. Yes, it's an art piece. So I've heard that art jewelry is very collectible. And that's exciting to get a butterfly necklace from art. So let me give you something to focus on and peek at while I go measure this. OK, 
Okay, it measures 18 inches. 18 inches art necklace butterfly, let's say 25. Gold tone is beautiful on it. All right, what are you, baby? Beautiful. Oh my. We have a locket watch thingy. Usually you push them like this and they open. Yep. Wow. Okay, so the crystal is gone on it. That's sad. Let's see if it's a wind up. It is a wind up. Well, I don't know if it's a wind up. I'd think it would start working right away if it is. All right, I don't want to fiddle with it. If it looks like it's almost moving sometimes, but maybe that's just me. All right, let's see what we've got. Um, silver tone watch locket thingy. Gold tone, beautiful crystals and pro. This is a really beautiful piece. It is nice. It is on a lobster. It's so long. Hmm. I don't know what to make of it. Um, this bale is a little bit open, so it could be someone put this on here. Or it could have come with this. I don't know. But I'm thinking about the silver tone, but there's no silver tone here. So did someone add it on there? But then this is silver and gold tone. Anyway, I don't want to spend much more time. It's very gorgeous. If you love it, you want to send me an offer, that's fine. I don't know what else to say about it until I look into it a little bit. And that's the thing with some of these boxes. You don't know what you're going to get. And um, it's not always easy to call what something should be priced at. This is a very lovely, um, what do you call this, Omega chain? A really long one. Much longer than you usually see. They're usually um, choker style, choker length. It's on a lobster clasp. Don't see a mark, but it measures... 30 inches and it has the extender so 30 to 32 inches it's in great shape i don't really see any wear on it why don't we say 12 on this lovely elephants did i see these in the picture on goodwill i just don't remember um, the metal has many different colors to it, so I'm not sure what the metal is, but we'll have to see. Crystals on the back of the elephant. Oh, this, this makes me think of those bracelets. I had one once that was like all school theme. Here's the half moon that someone was telling me about. All right, there's a name to these. I'll have to figure it out again, but these are very collectible. Certain ones are more collectible than others. It does have the safety chain. This is a nice find. It was quite a long time ago that someone told me what these bracelets were. I think at least 35 videos ago, so that is going to be a little bit of looking into. I want to give you something to focus on here. Or just come in close, see if that works. Okay, Alex and Ani kind of bracelet. Gold tone. Some of the silver ones are solid, sterling silver. So check your Alex and Ani's 2014. Not sure what to do with that. They don't really sell that well for me anymore. Looks like a bell. On a chain, spring ring. Honestly, it looks like a piece of gum in there. <laughs> it does. It probably is. Somebody probably put like a rubber 
something so it wouldn't ding, 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 I bet you it rings. You know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to get that like rubbery thing off and see if this bell rings. And if it's a piece of gum, I'd be sick. <laughs> I'd be sick. I don't know. I'm going to assume it's not. Okay, let's just assume it's not. Because they do make some kind of rubber stuff. And, <laughs> yeah. Wow, the things that can happen on a video. I'm getting a wipey out. So I can get this off. And I might just have to do the rest of it off camera. Let's just at least see if it rings now. After all that, it doesn't because it's still stuck. <laughs> what the? <gasps> it does ring. Ah, I like it. It looks silver, but the chain doesn't. I have to see. Is it marked at all? No, maybe not. I'll have to clean up that gooey on there. It does have a spring ring and check out what this is. Like, yeah, that's very magnetic. So for those who think my magnet isn't strong, look, it's really strong. <laughs> I wonder what my cats are gonna do. But the bell does not magnet, so that's why I'm thinking maybe the bell is sterling. Fun. That is so fun. I can't wait to look at that. Okay, what else? Do a few more things. We'll make a craft jar. And, oh, look at this. It's a brooch. Yes, it is. So, I think this is called Mogul. Mogul style with the big rounded jewels. So pretty. Another brooch. I'm so excited about it. It is glass pearls. Really happy. Not that I don't want to sell them. I just don't know what each thing is worth yet. Now, I'm not going to turn the camera this time, but there's a bunny in the backyard and my cat is watching him and it's so cute. But if I get the phone out of the holder, it'll be a what? It'll be a what? is this gigantic necklace. Wow. Um, connects there. It's huge. It's like goes with our huge ring. But it's a different color metal. I don't know what to make of this. Maybe like, um, Indian style again? I have no idea. Rhinestones are like, um, there's one missing here. Baguette, I guess. All right, let's finish looking at the chain. It has a lobster clasp. This is it. What do I do with that? Wow. I guess I'll wait and see if I find that that rhinestone, um, but if you love it and you want it, you can have it for $5. It does have some wear. It looks like it is on a copper chain. I can see some copper through, but wow, it's a biggie. That's a biggie baby. This is another serpentine style. Omega chain. Nice gunmetal tone. Really good condition, but nothing's on it. So let's see if we find a pendant for that. What is this pretty baby? Sparkly stone here needs a little cleaning. Wow. I think it has a mirror back because it looks to me to be a mirror back. Darker gunmetal chunky chain, lobster clasp. So it's probably, it measures um, 32 inches and 
it has an extender. Let's see what it looks like on our neck. It's a nice looking piece. Very sparkly stone here. So let's say $4 on that. Okay. I wish I could give more prices on the other things, but we'll see. I see another butterfly, but I can't get it out. Looks like some bracelets. Ooh, let's check these out. Silver tone bangle. Um, gold tone around here. It's hard to see on the camera for you guys if something's silver tone or gold tone, so I do like to tell you that. Straightforward bangle, don't, no magnetic. This I'm thinking maybe is a Monet or something. Monet style, it's not marked. Pretty though. And another of the same, yep. So we have these two gold tone pretty bangles. Is this a clamper? That's maybe a little bit needs fixed. Yes, and it's signed inside Monet. I like that brushed metal. That's very pretty. It's like um, a fabric textured metal. Lovely, okay. You don't want to say much about the bangles yet until you see if there's more and like kind of lot them up together. The metallic bags are a lot more work because there's a lot more things in them. 1928 earrings. Let's see if they are. Let's look at the back of them. They are. They've got the signature 1928 texture in the back. I hope we find the other one. Wait for your mate. You know you got to wait for your mate. Ooh. This is a breast cancer survivor. Bracelet with a button clasp. I just learned that's called a loop, like a button loop clasp. It does not appear to be sterling. It has a lot of wear on it, so we may put that to craft. Ooh, speaking of craft, let's go ahead and fill a craft jar that I have already named. Where is she? Our craft jar today is Roberta. I have a wonderful cousin named Roberta, and I love her to pieces. She does watch my videos once in a while. So I hope you're watching, Roberta, because this one's for you, honey. Okay, let's see what we got for this one. We usually put things in there as we're going through, but I haven't found much yet. Um, yeah, we'll just go with what I have. There is a bracelet that has a lock and a key. Has some wear on it. That will go in. We had several of these with the really pretty aqua color rhinestones on them. I think those stones are pretty. Here's a vintage brooch. I think it's a BSK just has a lot of wear, so someone could maybe do something with that, jazz it up a bit. We have a couple of purple acrylic <clears throat> stone uh, earrings, sorry, and this is so cute, this green rhinestone cross, but there is a stone missing right there, so that goes in. Lots of chains. This is like a multi-necklace, multi-tier. Nothing wrong with it, it just has some wear. Probably copper. And a big sterling, not sterling, but silver hoop. Some yellow acrylic earrings. Another earring. Some sort of a purse thing or something. Here's the other yellow earring. They're cute. There isn't a thing wrong with those. You could wear them or craft with them. We have a wooden brooch. Very pretty. Looks like a bell. And a 
I'm trying to think of here, a bangle that you can decorate or whichever. Now, I thought I only had one of these, but I feel like I put one in a craft jar a couple days ago. They are patent number. These are collectible. I think I had them on eBay for a while. They didn't do that well. Lovely. This looks like the Monet bracelet pieces that can clip to it. Do any of you know if the Monet charms that go with their bracelet are also marked Monet? Because I wondered about that. Not that I wonder about that one, but I just wonder about it in general. Earrings. I remember when I found these earrings and I loved them, but something was missing. Some more earrings and silver type pieces. These are very beautiful glass, but they were slightly different from each other, so I couldn't sell them as a pair. But they're heavy and they're a beautiful glass. See how there's like marks on that one, but not that one, so really pretty. We've got some pink shells. This is a vintage bracelet with rhinestones on it. There's a pair of these. These, I think, are these coral? I'm not sure. They are a very soft metal, but when I tested them, I don't think they were sterling. There's our other shell earring. Pretty sure I have both of these um, vintage. So let me put it to the side so that you'll be able to see if there's a pair. Alex and Ani with some pink stones in it. Vintage bracelet. Looks like there was something right here. So if you want to put something back onto that. Looks like I'm going to have too much for the jar. These earrings are really nice. I really like them. The posts are a darker, like, silver tone, but the earrings are gold tone. So I just couldn't, like, sell them or put them in anything until they were fixed. And I'm not going to get to do that. So that's why they're going in the craft jar. Some rhinestones. Just want to get to this. I don't want to make a bunch of noise. Let me dump it out way over there. I want to get to a few things since it's not all going to fit. Um, I want to get to, there it is, the other one of these. So you've got both vintage earrings and some rhinestones, a pearl. This is one of those, like you put it on the earring and you can wear a couple different your earrings a couple different ways. Let's see, something to make a pin with. Now I'm going to go reach into my little tinies, find some good stuff for you in here. Piece of glass, a little shell. Look how rhinestone-y those are. I think they're clip-ons, but the clip part gave way or something. Cute little ring. I can only hope it stays in focus pretty well. This is a pearl with like a texture on it. Not a real pearl, but a faux pearl. And another, I'll just put some little earring bits in here. Some more little earring bits. These are pretty. I'll try to get both of those. Because I know there's a pair. And I love these. But part of them is gone. I just love the look of them. They're very like 70s. So the bottom piece came off of this one. Aren't they beautiful? So I hope that's super fun for someone to do something with. Let's see, a couple more teeny tinies. Oh, here's the other one of these that I put in earlier. Nice gold looking earring. 
cufflinks, the other one of those. Yeah, so just lots of little bitsies. Here's the other one of those. I'll save a couple of little bits for the next time. And a Howlite necklace, nothing wrong with it. It just is on kind of a cheap chain. Vintage ring. I think there's a stone missing. Are we full yet? We could top it with this coconut shell and say, thank you, Roberta, for the craft jar. Oops, this can go in there too. And that goes in there. I feel like I want to put like some more rhinestones in it. But I don't know if I can, yes, I can. I didn't know if I could put my hands on any. So we have a pair of vintage clip-ons that are loaded. No, these are pins, sorry. A couple of pins, nice rhinestone-y. Poisoné earring, part of a pin again, and this is a beautiful, it's, it's like gold stone, but it's blue, so I don't know what you'd call that, but it's a screw back earring, it's so pretty, but there's only one, yeah, there's some other vintage things in here, clip-on, Another pearl. Hmm. I think I think I should hold on to these because I think I needed them for something. All right. So that is that. I hope you love it. I'm still gonna put the coconut on top, and the craft jar is 25. Hope you love it. Okay. Let's get back to our jewels. If you have some suggestions for names of jars, I'd love to hear them. I do write them down. My grandson helps me to make a list of names. He's so cute. He likes to help with that. This is a really pretty earring, but it's very tangled in here. Hmm, that is very tangly. I'm very interested in that glass. It's so pretty. Hmm. Nice vintage chain with the spring ring. Okay, let's try to... There we go. I was just about to unclasp it to see if that would help. So what have we here? Really tiny little spring ring. Looks brass color. A very cute, dainty little chain. Now, sometimes people may change the spring ring over the years. So you want to check with the magnet and just see if the chain tests as magnetic. Now, the spring ring will be magnetic because the spring in it is not usually precious metal. But I'm going to have to see about the chain. We'll put it aside. I'll look at it closer and see if it needs testing. Okay, now back to this earring. Really shiny glass. I don't know, it's gorgeous. I'm trying to see if there's a mark on the earring. There is a lot to look at with jewelry. You can't just like whip past everything and not know. Well, you're going to have to wait for your mate anyway, so wait for your mate. Okay, um, wow. I wonder if I'm going to have to do an untangle video. It doesn't look like the stuff is terribly tangled, but it's just been shipped together and kind of mashed. There is definitely a knot in here. I'll have to take it out another time. It's a cactus. It is on a spring ring. Don't see any marks on it. Um, looks like a pewter 
cactus. So maybe, I don't know, craft. Or if you love a cactus, let me know. Gold tone earring. This is multi-metal, like silver tone, gold tone, copper. Has kind of a boho bead here. Um, let's see if we can make a theme of this. It says peace. I don't know. I don't know what this is. is it a stretch? Oh, yeah, it's a stretch. All right, that's going to go in our next craft jar because the stretch is gone. So start my new craft pile. Let's start a new craft jar. Is this a brooch? It is a brooch. And this is what I mean about it's a C class, but it doesn't look old. So I'm guessing there were C class that weren't that were also used that weren't terribly, terribly old. Okay. Um hmm. These are glass, but they are well they might be acrylic. I don't know if you can can you see how it's see-through right there in the knot? That is interesting. I would say it's a butterfly. Has some things missing. Might have to go to craft because it's not looking very happy. Yeah, I don't think it's looking very happy. It's done its job. This is interesting. Feels very heavy. Looks like it's like a rose gold color. It's marked Fossil. I know it felt like it was quality right away. Try to get our competition out of the way here. Zoom in. Okay. So we have a Fossil. Hmm. Let me put something yellow gold up next to it. So you can see how it's either a very rich or it's a rose gold. But it is a fossil, it has the hang tag, and it's also marked fossil on the lobster class. What a pretty bracelet. It's seven inches. I have no idea what these go for, but I know they're good quality. So why don't we say 15 on the fossil? And you can tell me what you think. All right, this looks like a lariat. Lariat is handy with, no, Harriet is handy with the lariat. All the guys want to marry Harriet, but Harriet doesn't want to marry it because she's having too much fun. I told you I was going to sing that Lariat song. This is an Avon piece, but why would it be like, what's going on here? Something that's clipped to it? Like, what was that clip-on piece? Whoa, what about our, yeah. What about this? I wonder if this would be... It's not the same color gold, but it looks nice. Looks very nice. It's nighttime here now, so I'm going to have to get off because I won't have enough light. So I'm going to take that off because it's not... This is not telling me it's an Avon, although it might be. But that's a beautiful Avon chain. Sorry, I don't have a lot like for sale tonight, but the pins and things are going to take me a little bit of research. This is beautiful. It's black glass and bezel set glass. Triple chain, no, four chains with a box clasp. That is so pretty. And it comes down like this. That's a lovely necklace. And then I'm guessing that the chains will hang at different levels. But it's going to take some untangling for sure. Let me see how long it is. It is a 32 inch. Makes me think of Goldette. Maybe it's a Goldette piece really has that look. I'm going to say 
five dollars on this black glass piece really good shape uh, i'm not going to promise i'll untangle that but if it's an issue let me know okay all right let's get a couple more fun pieces and i'll have to sign off now that's fun turquoise beaded that is supposed to be a rhinestone so those aren't missing turquoises adjustable ring i just put an adjustable ring in my ebay store it's green faceted a lot of prongs on it i just thought it looked kind of juliana the ring that i just put on my ebay store so i put it on and we'll see how it goes but it's adjustable like this and yeah i'm excited to see how it goes but for this one it's a very rich gold tone turquoise dot beaded um Oh, it's really pretty how high up it goes in the different layers. I don't know. It's got a Rivoli stone on the top. If someone loves it, it measures eight, a little over eight, maybe eight and a, eight and a quarter. And yeah, it's pretty. Let's do this one for seven. We have a signed earring here. It is a Monet. Gotta love Monet. Wait for your mate. I think my wait for your mate board is right where I can reach it. But I'm not going to do that to you guys. I'll just go get it. Ooh, another ring. I'll go get it off video. This is, I can't even explain amber stones all around the outside but in here is like um it's not copper can you see it's like a coffee color metal it's beautiful adjustable ring super pretty i think there's a few tiny rhinestones missing yes one two there's two missing on the very outside, but the rest of them are there. It's a pretty baby. Okay, maybe you'll love it. So we'll measure it, even though it's adjustable, it's sitting at eight and three quarters. And we'll do four dollars on that one. Nice, like, um, what do I want to say? Filigree. It had a filigree design in it. <gasps> what? Dragonfly pin? Oh, I can just I can just hear the emails cha chinging right now. This is a Monet dragonfly pin. And before I do anything, fix my light so you can get a good look at it. Probably should go and just see what these go for. My lights are going. The daytime is leaving me. I'm gonna have to go. Let me go see what this goes for so I don't leave you hanging because I think you're all going to love this Monet Dragonfly. Hey, so look what I can do because I still have my older phone. And I always was using my phone to record the videos and I could never go on it to look at something. But I just went on eBay to see if they had these Monet brooches. And here's one here. Why does it look so dark on there? So that's the same one. Someone's asking 20 on that. Vintage gold tone, multicolor dragon fly, 15 on that. I'd have to look at the condition um, if whether those are missing or not. So I'd say 24, 50, and they said gorgeous, so that's probably in good condition. 24. Cool. Okay. So the Monet Dragonfly brooch, 25 to 20 on eBay, they're asking. Why don't we say 18 for that? Let me just make sure everything's there. Ooh, they're so pretty. I'll show you the different colors. Isn't that great? So that was fun. It's got an enamel on it as well. Navy blue earring. 
it's an Avon because it has a little tiny circle dot. So that's going to wait for its mate. Let's see if I can find a few more. Oh my gosh. This looks stunning. This looks like something special. Wow. Wow. I'm thinking it's shell inlay. Wow, this is really pretty. How's it open? Right here. It must like unhook right here. Yep, it does. Okay, what's it say in there? It says Mexico. But I don't know if it's alpaca or sterling. Um probably have to test it because it was very well loved and worn so I can't really tell oh my goodness it's beautiful I wonder if it goes this way like what is it I'm gonna feel so silly later if I if it's so obvious and I don't know looks like a snake sort of thing and I don't know do you guys know pretty. It's very nice. I guess we could test it quickly for sterling. But then again, I'm not going to know about the inlay and all that, so no sense in that. I'd like to get all the info at once. Um, oh, are you broken? No. Oh, I think sometimes people wear these scarf clips as pins. Maybe they put this pin part on here and wear it that way. It's a good idea. This is something USA. It's a, um, I can't think of it right now and I can't see it and I don't want to take a lot of time, but it's a lovely scarf clip. I could leave that on there if you wanted to wear it both, but the texture is pretty. We can say four dollars on that. Else, else, else. Um, oh, a little kid pin. I mean, um, charm. What's it say on it? David. Aww. That's cute. Does it stick to the magnet? Yes, it does. Well, you're cute, David. We're gonna put you over there. I can find something super exciting. We have a Chico's. We always got to have our nice Chico's in every bag. Chico's necklace. Oh, that's cool looking. That is cool. Black enamel. Like a brass and a silver. Is it broken? No, just needs some fiddling. Like, what's up with that? Okay, there it goes. So, assigned Chico's. It's got shaped beads up here. Several chains. Silver tone with the brass. Nice piece. Measures. Um, let's see. 18 inches. Sorry. And then the extension is like three four inches long so let's say for the chicos we'll do seven dollars okay wow we haven't even like scratched the surface of this amazing bag and we have another bag after this really beautiful brooch with the swirly swirly design looking for maker i don't see one Okay, this is fun to just kind of peek and not have to do a lot of prices so far, but wow, what is this? It's like a, a mesh. There's rhinestones inside of a mesh. I think it's sterling. Does it have that? 
usually sometimes a sun on the end and it says sterling on these parts not seeing it now but I thought I saw something on the clasp that does say 925 I have no idea what to make of this is it artisan made uh, I don't know like a net necklace of rhinestones and I don't know what do you think of that well if you could see it it would help right because the camera wasn't in focus I don't know what to make of it I've not seen anything like that um yeah wow okay what do you think guys let me know let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below. Because the comments below are where we know what we need to know. Oh, there's so much in here. I don't want to get my arm in the way, but... Oh, boy. Look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, I see Alex and Ani that are giving us trouble. Okay, so some flip-flop things, lots and lots of chains. They do look like they were laying together nicely, which is great, but no matter what, they're still going to tangle up. Pretty brooch, fold-over leaf. They seem to never be closed. It's like <laughs> they're never, ever closed. Like, are you trying to poke me? That's a pretty one. This is wild. Is this like a Stella and Dot or something? Oh, wow. So many things here. Let's try to see what this is. There's another big brooch. Wow, they gave me brooches. Okay, again, see? Was that closed? Did you see that? Not closed. I'm not complaining. No way am I complaining. This is really so fun. This is S.A. Copyright. I'll have to look that up. This is pretty. It might even be sterling. I don't know. But look at those oak leaves with the acorns. That's beautiful. So exciting. Okay, what are you... Are you a Stella and Dot? Am I getting a little bit of an eye for Stella and Dot pieces or not? Looks very Stella and Dot to me. But I don't I don't know because there's no hang tag. Hmm. Guess I'll have to do a Google photo search on that one. It is very pretty how it has textured um not filigree but there's a texture on those beads on the bottom that's the back gold tone big chunky chain goes in the i don't know pile you notice i keep saying i'm gonna leave and i don't leave because i can't stand it it's so fun okay another butterfly so many butterflies in this one. There's a little circle dot, maybe Avon. Let's see, spring ring, circle dot. It is an Avon butterfly. It does need to be cleaned. There's my wipey wipe. Yeah. Probably be pretty if it was cleaned up. So Avon going off to do a, a measurement. It is, it's bigger than 18 inches, so I'd say 19 inches. So if you like the Avon butterfly, we'll give it a little clean up. Spring ring clasp. I'll say six on that. Okay, come on, I want to leave you with some goodies here. Very tassely. 
I'll have to check that one out. Now, Alex and Ani bracelets, you'd be surprised how many are solid sterling. And we just didn't know it. So this one has, um, I guess, a duck or swan. And let's see. Too bad I didn't have something else to test with it because I want to show you if it is a sterling. Well, I do. I have that other bracelet. If it is sterling, I do want to show you that many of these are and if you're not going to wear them or sell them you could maybe um, turn them in for scrap they're not all sterling but some of them can be now that is turning very well kind of um, golden tone I'm trying to find where I did the test I'm not seeing anything underneath we just kind of quickly did this. Put a little charm on it, see what happens with it. Um, this one might be copper underneath. It is looking darker, but I have a whole pile of about eight of them that are all sterling. Yeah, you can tell sterling plated because it turns, oh, wait a minute turns blue right away and goes away, but this is not going away. So maybe this is a sterling one. Maybe you are, Alex and Anne. But I don't want to just, like, take a little bit of plating off and assume it is. And I wouldn't do this if this was, like, a beautiful collector bracelet that we, you know, at this point, I'm not planning on selling it. Maybe just scrapping the sterling. Okay. I don't know on this one. It's definitely blue. But it's not like all bright blue. Some parts are really bright. I'll just have to take some time off camera because... See what I mean? Maybe that was the plating. Maybe that was, maybe the um, patina is getting in the way. I'll have to check it out and spend a little more time on that. I thought I would just show you that some of the Alex and Annie's are sterling. Okay. Off to the testing pile. Big hoop earring, another brooch. Very simple, very pretty textured. This is a very sparkly earring. It is, is it marked? I don't know. Doesn't look sterling but I hesitate because that one time that I found the diamond earrings they looked almost like this and I just it kept sitting on the table and I didn't think anything of it when I looked at it I was shocked but this just went to the magnet so that's how we do that one. Oh, that's a cute brooch or earring oh it's an earring yes so this is the brooch, and that's the earring. Yay! We might have a little set going. Oh, I wonder if I can find it. Um, M brooch. This is such a big, thick pile. Found my other cool, cool earring. Oh my gosh, there's so much I want to look at. <laughs> this looks like a ruby necklace. I'm looking for the other earring. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Like, I want the licorice. No, I want the, the uh, whatever's. I want to see if this is going to come out. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to do a tangle video because... 
right there is a ton of chains and they're all stuck together. So, hmm. It's going to be really sweet if there's a set for this. Really is. Looks like we found the other one of these little guys. That's a lever back. Um, yeah, I might just go take an hour and do an untangle video. Because it's going to need it. I'll show you what's happening. This is what's happening. Cut this open. Look at all that. That's a serious situation right here. So, see what I mean about the ruby necklace? Ooh, you're going to have to stay tuned. See if I can get this out. Really don't want to break it. All right, just for you guys, because I love you all so much. I'm going to really try to get this out and leave you with, yay, I did it. Okay. And leave you with what this is. Oh, I think there's some precious metal in there. I see some markings. I see some more rhinestones. This is a great box. So happy. Oh. This is really pretty. It's not wanting to move freely through here. Let me see. I wonder if that's the original chain because you'd want something to move easily, you know? Okay, let's see. It's a spring ring. It's older. It has a copyright, just a copyright. So does just the copyright mean Avon? It might, oh wait a minute, is that a name? It says Monet, super, okay. Let's see if this is the right pendant for this necklace. Looks very gold nugget, looks very, um, very ruby color to me. Let's loop it. Seriously prong set. Definitely needs to be cleaned. Um, not seeing any marks on it. Let's ask Miss Prissy what she thinks of the stone. Oh, it's a ruby. It's definitely a ruby. She knows her stuff, Miss Prissy Doos. Rubies are up here. What do we got, Miss Prissy? It's slipping off now. Whoops, now you got... Why do you try to make a liar of me? That's not nice. I have no doubt it's a ruby. The pen is really hot, so I probably should give her a rest probably just overheated but see it go up there now yeah okay cool we have a ruby necklace I'll have to look for some kind of gold or something it's gonna take me time to look at that because it really can be tiny let's see if it magnets it magnets but it has a real ruby in it Wow okay that's unusual I'm going to say it's an Avon necklace with a real ruby and, I'm sorry, a Monet with a real ruby. Maybe someone put this on a different chain or maybe Monet sold a real ruby. Let me get a length on the chain. It is 18, a little over 18 inches Definitely a real ruby. We saw that it magnets. And I will say 25 on the ruby Avon necklace. Okay. I guess I'm going to figure out some kind of thumbnail and 
maybe take some time and do an untangle video. So I'll see ya. I'll see you next time. Try to make something beautiful happen on my thumbnail. And we've got lots of fun videos coming up because we have 21 pounds and tons and tons and tons of goodies. So let me know what you think. I hope you will consider subscribing if you haven't already. If it's your first time on my channel, thank you very much for coming. I hope I'll see you again, and I hope you'll leave a comment. If you'd like to purchase something, although there wasn't much for sale tonight, please give the video name, episode number, timestamps, description, and prices. So thanks so much. I hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles.